Look at this magnificent garden. And let's add custom flowers to Minecraft. New topics added to the Forge and Fabric courses, such as tameable and writable entities, projectiles, throwable projectiles, and boats, as well as first steps to biomes and dimensions. Courses linked in the description below. Oh, really friends of Black Intelligent more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom flower, including a potted flower of the same type to Minecraft. So let's jump into the mod blocks class. And here we want to register two different blocks. The first one, very important, uses the register block method because we want a block item to be registered with this as well. This is going to be the Dahlia. That's going to be the flower that we're going to create. And that's going to be the Dahlia here as well. This is going to be a flower block over here. There you go, a flower block. The first parameter of which is actually going to be a status effect. So we're going to say status effects dot, let's say, for example, fire resistance. That's going to be fine. Then the effect duration that should be in seconds here in this case. And then the fabric block settings, no block set type needed. We're also going to copy the allium or any flower in this case would also be OK. We want to call both non opaque as well as no collision over here. There you go. And that is going to be the Dahlia. And then we can copy, for example, the corn crop because the second one is going to be the Dahlia under actually the potted Dahlia. There you go. That's that's the naming convention, right? So you have the potted Dahlia, which actually does not have an item associated with it. This is why we are using registry.register because, of course, to get the potted Dahlia, you put the pot down and then you right click with a flower. That's the idea. And this is going to be, of course, right here. This is the potted underscore Dahlia. And then this is a flower pot block. There you go. First parameter of which is going to be the Dahlia. So that's going to be the flower inside of this particular pot. Then we're going to copy over the potted allium here. That's going to be OK. And once again, we want to call the non opaque in this case, but not no collision because, well, the potted flower actually does have collision. And let's start at the bottom here with the texture. So let's copy over the textures. This is going to go into the block folder. This is going to be the Dahlia. That's actually the only texture we're going to need. We don't need any custom models over here, but we will need a translation. That's the translation. And let's also jump into the client mod class, because in this case, we want both of them to have the cutout render layer over here as well. So this is going to be the Dahlia as well as the potted Dahlia. There you go. That's going to be very important as well. And we can add them to the item group or at least the flower can we can add to the item group. So let's get the Dahlia in here as well. There you go. And that is actually in terms of the general code, that is actually all we need. And now most of the other stuff, data gen. For the loot tables, it's actually as easy as adding the add drop for the Dahlia itself. That should make a lot of sense. And then for the plant, well, we can just use the add potted plant drop and then just say mod blocks dot potted Dahlia. And there we go. That's actually all we need to do. And funnily enough, the models are almost as easy. We want to use the block state model generator right here and then just call the register flower pot plant. There you go. The first parameter is mod blocks data Dahlia. So that's going to be the flower itself. Then mod blocks dot potted Dahlia. So this is going to be the potted block. And then we want to say block state. And then you can see it actually suggests this to us. We're going to choose the not tinted here in this case. And funnily enough, that is actually everything that we're going to need. The pot interaction should work automatically, so we can now run the data gen. And once that is run through, we can make the garden of our dreams with our custom flower. All right, fans, us back in Minecraft. As you can see, the Dahlia has been added. Now I just need to find some dirt to set it down. And there we go. So you can see the flower has been successfully added. And if I put in a pot and I put it in there, you can see it also is added there. If I switch to survival mode, you can see breaking the pot gives me both a pot as well as a Dahlia. And the Dahlia itself will also drop itself. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that is how easy it can be to add a custom flower to Minecraft. And that's it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll har a little bit by adding a custom villager trade to Minecraft. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.